Hey guys, welcome back to Ganty Plans. Uh, today we're doing a flip through. Um, poll results tell me that these are your favorite kinds of videos, which I kind of knew already. Um, so welcome. This is April 2023 and we're in my um, DIY A6 size um, disc bound setup. It's working out for me okay. Um, the cover probably could be a lot more sturdy. I'm getting just a little bit of wear in the corners. Um, but it's working out. I do like that it lays flat. I like that it's pretty easy to take things in and add them and move them around. Um, but it just feels a little bit, I don't know, it doesn't feel as premium as like my leather ring binders do, which I kind of miss. But um, we're still going to stick in this for a while just because I've sort of committed to it and it's just easier than redoing a whole setup. You know how that is? Um, so this is um, free scrapbooking paper I found online and just printed out um, and then laminated and all of the inserts in here are from my shop, .com, So that's where you can find them all. Um, and if you need help finding any specific one that I don't mention the number of, uh, let me know. The first insert in here is this level 10 life, which I did back in like January, I guess when I first set this up. So I'm probably due to reevaluate, but I just kind of was looking at a couple different areas of my life and ranking how well I thought I was doing in those, which areas I felt I needed to work on. And so that's what this is, a couple of goals that I have. Um, so that was insert five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Monthly resolutions. I like to set a goal for each month instead of a goal for the year. So, um, we're working on, we, I finally did get my tax return done. I should probably put some notes there. It got done in early April, but it's done fortunately, um, cause I'm filming this on like the due date, but it's fine. Um, and then birthday party cause I have my son's birthday parties, the, it's still this weekend. It's still in the future as you're watching this. Um, and I have not yet looked beyond this Saturday to see what my next goal is going to be. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to things being a little bit less hectic. Because as you see here, this insert uh, number 52, right, is like 52 weeks of the year. And so I use this to sort of set a focus goal for that week. Um, and I was able to like see ahead of time okay I had to I wanted to get everything unpacked before Easter that was my goal then we had to get the tax return done and then the birthday party um, I want to get our wedding rings refinished before our anniversary so let's you know get things done in advance so I'm working on the party this week next week I don't have anything set up yet but I have room um, I'm gonna have another birthday party by July and another one in September um, then this insert here I'm flipping to all the time um, which is number 63, um, monthly tasks, I think it's called, but basically it's a last time done type of a log uh, for a lot of household things. I just, so I remember like the last, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's a lot of last time done things. So I can remember like the last time I changed the sponge or got new loofahs or changed people's, um, toothbrushes. Like for example, they just got new toothbrushes on the 15th. And so now um, when I'm looking at and I need to decide if they need a new one or when, you know, I can plan ahead and say, I need to get some new toothbrushes for the kids because they're getting kind of old and gross. Um, this is the same kind of thing, but I basically this one is just car maintenance. But this is um, one that you could use for things that need to be done every, you know, six weeks or every 52 days or whatever, you know, any kind of um, weird repeat can go on here and be used. Um there's a video that will be linked on the product page for this insert, which is 17, by the way, that will tell you exactly how that works in a little bit more detail. Um, oh, here's some notes. I'm not going to tell you about that one right now. Uh, let's see, this one, these are monthly, uh, months on one page. And uh, I just have them in here printed out and set up for the rest of the year. I then printed out a, a couple of these ones. This is the undated monthly insert. 20 from the shop and I thought I wanted to have a tracker for the month. It's far too late into the month So I'm not going to be using this tracker. I shall honestly just pull it out, but it's still here and whatever I might end up using it for something else um, But there's the month and you'll see have seen this in uh, Monthly plan with me videos and then I just put like the month in pencil on top because I like to decorate and I just wanted to be able to see what the day is uh, what the month is I would probably at some point if I feel like I have time um, go in and add 
um, the little mini calendar because it's a little bit tricky when I'm going in and making plans set up, you know, dentist appointments. I was like, oh yeah, what day of the week is that? Because I had no idea. Um, so for example, I actually will show you what I'm going to do. This is a spoiler for a few farther down in the flip through, but I've been using these little page flags to mark uh, things in my planner that I can work on that are planner related things. So if I'm out and about and I just have some extra planner time, um, I can flip to that. So there's another one here. Um, then I have this tab for plans, which is everything basically. This insert number 74 is the church calendar. So that'll tell me like when Easter is and when the holy days uh, are and all of that. Um, this is folded up. This is my daughter's school calendar for her preschool. Um, doctor appointment log, um, birthdays and anniversaries um, for everybody in my life. Basically, I need to add more people to this as I as they come up. This is the far future log um, for anything that's not on the current year. It needs somewhere to go. Then we've got, oh, then we've got weeklies. So here's weeklies. This is back in, and the problem with this is that I don't put the month on my week and then I'm always lost. But I want to say this is still February. It might have been March. Let me see if I can remember. It must have been March, right? Yeah, probably. I really liked how this one turned out though with the colors. Um, and so this is an uh, insert 68, which has all these fold outs. It just gives lots of extra space and it's really free form. Definitely March, because this was St. Patrick's Day and I was trying to, I forgot to, um, St. Patrick's Day was on Friday. I was gonna do the header for that day in green and then I forgot. But I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme on this one. And then this was back to, like, I knew that I wanted less bold colors. So I went back to something really low key. And then again here, I got a new set of, like, mild highlighters, not mild liners. Um, not zebra, anyway. Um, and I'm still trying to get used to them. Then I went with, this one was a weekly plan with me also. Um, this is Holy Week, so I went with purple for the last week of Lent. And then after that, oh, I should put this somewhere useful before I lose it because it's unused. You'll see lovely art from my daughter scattered throughout. Uh, so as you can see, Easter, obviously. And I went for this like springy Eastery colors um, and I switched the inserts I was using. So this is 65 week on one page. And then this one here is insert 60. No, sorry, insert 007, um, which is a Alistair Weekly. So they pair together and this is my to-do list and I get to assign what day of the week I do whatever thing on. So you can plan in advance um, or just get credit for doing the thing on a specific day and you can see how productive a particular day was. I like that. Um, and so I had fun with decorating this one, uh, but I don't really, I never like when I use yellow, I never like how it turns out, honestly. And then I do it anyway. And then I decided, well, you know what? I've started using these date dots from Planner Kate. And when you start using date dots for a month, it's hard to pick up using that same color in a different month because the days don't line up and you've used a whole week's worth and you don't want to have, it's, you know, so like, let's just keep using the yellow date dots. So we went with yellow again for this week. And instead of doing the pink, which I just thought was a little garish, I went with this like taupe kind of brown color. It's a little bit less garish. I also used a lot fewer stickers, so it feels a little bit less juvenile. Um, so that's where we are. And then I've got that still printed out. And so the Alistair weeklies are back to back and the week on one page are back to back. So it alternates, which is fine. Um, then I've got some dailies in here that I used. I went through and I actually put the date on the bottom of some of these after I used them. That one's from January. Um, but the back is blank, so I left it in here. And then I just have several dailies, but I haven't used them in a long time because um, I've been doing just dailies on my weeklies. I like that this lays flat so that I can leave it out on the counter and reference it. Um, but it, flipping back and forth in here is surprisingly difficult because I feel like always things are trying to pop out or get folded up weirdly. Um, so that's what I don't love as much about discs. 
is it lays flat real nice, but I kind of want to have everything in one place. Or else if I'm going to reference something back and forth, literally pull that page out and bring it to where I need it instead of going back and forth because it just, it, it feels like everything's going to fall apart. Um, this tab is for home maintenance cleaning type things. So this is sort of a list of upcoming projects and I do need to do another brain dump because I, I need to figure out what the most important things are to assign like as my main focus for the week. This guy here, uh, as you'll see, I have not been updating it uh, because I'm currently filming this on the 18th and it's probably too late to go back, but I can always just pick up and just keep going. So like, for example, today, the 18th, I'll fill it out on camera. Um, did not make the bed. Didn't really tidy the desk to the dishes. Kitchen counter, didn't tidy the entry bench, dining table. And I give myself credit for anything that I tidied at any point during the day. As long as at some point the dining room table was clear, I get credit even if the kids came in and wrecked it afterwards. So, you know, pick up floors, I don't think I did. Sweep, I definitely did do. And laundry, I also did. Uh, did I clean the bathroom? That was yesterday. I wiped down the sink just briefly. And then today I did some actual focus cleaning of the kitchen, um, which was good. I feel like things got away from me. Well, so last week was spring break. And so I was deliberately not focusing on housework as much because I wanted to spend quality time and we had outings and stuff like that. It made me worry a little bit about the summer and like, am I going to be able to keep things under control when we're not in school anymore? Um, but really it was an off week. Like I was deliberately focusing on doing experiences out of the house. We were entirely out of the house for all of Tuesday and Wednesday. So things were just crazy. Um, so now I'm getting back into it and I realized that the thing that was making me feel no matter how much tidying I was doing in the main living area, the house still felt like chaotic to me. It was because of the Easter baskets up on the kitchen counter. I wanted to have them out so that the kids could access their Easter eggs with the little snacks in them um, because the Easter bunny only sent stuff that was like snacks instead of jelly beans. The jelly beans were in the girls' baskets. I wanted the baby to be able to find eggs too. Anyway, uh, it was just, it was so visually chaotic to me just having like three baskets on the counter. There was four, I guess, because their grandparents gave them baskets too. Um, and so I yesterday uh, went through and like decanted all the snacks into Ziploc bags and the baskets are now ready to go into the storage closet. So I'm going to do that tomorrow and then everything will be clear. But today I spent some time like moving stuff around in the kitchen. I moved the toaster oven to the other side of the stove where it makes so much more sense. The coffee maker is in a place where it's not like wit in the way of everything and it's just, it's better. Anyway, all that is to say, this is how I do my cleaning schedule tracker didn't mention that. This is my cleaning schedule tracker and I'll basically try to focus on one room at a time, get it all the way done and then move on to another room. That's the idea. Um, but there's nothing specific and I just want to get credit for the things I do because that feels motivating to me. And then this is the actual checklist, for example. Oh, where's This is just like a list of things that I sort of brain dump what's going to need to be done for that particular room. Um, so I have a kitchen here. Um, I did the oven and I did the stove cop stove top and I did yeah I, I need to yeah organize the fridge again or at least the freezer um I need to figure out what to do with all of my old breast milk because once I started staying at home with the kids I don't need it for work anymore and so it hasn't been getting used and he's turning one in a week so this was February's tracker and see this is the prototype and then marches. So I did pretty good keeping up with the tracker at least in March and pretty good cleaning too. Um, yeah, it's been motivating. It's been working out for me. Um, and some of the things are becoming habitual, which is the goal also. Next tab is meals. Um, for some reason I had to print out two of a copy of a photo instead of one. And so here we go. Um, this is one of my favorite inserts and gets so much use. This is insert 27, meal plans. Um, so I basically just put the stuff that I have the ingredients for. Um, and then the circles are for how shelf stable it is. Um, and I do have the stuff for spaghetti right now. Uh, I made the chili. 
And then you check it off when you have the stuff, you check it off when you make it, and then you check it off when you've eaten all of the leftovers. And then this is the actual schedule that you can kind of schedule things out, but really I just like knowing what I have the ingredients for. Um, and then this here is something that's sort of in the works. I've made this version of it so that I can, um, it's in testing basically. Um, and it's like a master list of all of our go-to meals. Um, so I'm slowly working on getting this populated to see if it'll help me with my scheduling, my meal planning. Um, and then this was going to be, I think this will get incorporated into this insert. This is a list of all the things that we keep um, on hand, like pantry staples to restock up on if they're out. And then this was because I didn't print enough of these. Um, so it's, it's a work in progress. Uh, then here's more of them. And I've realized that for a while I was just getting rid of these when I was done with them, but I realized that I actually really like having a record of previous weeks of planned meals because then I can know like, okay, not every one of these corresponds to a week or even two weeks. It's kind of just whenever I need to sit down and make a new grocery list, but I can go back and look and say, oh, it's been a while since we did that meal. We should do that again. Um, then, okay, so this is called reference. It's really like projects, I guess. Here are some mini projects. Normally I use a Peanuts Planner Co. insert for this, but I don't have it in A6 yet and I didn't want to buy it even though I have, I could, I just haven't yet. Um, so I'm sure that'll show up in this size at some point if I use this size long enough. But this is the idea of just some small projects that were sitting on my weeklies, but they didn't have their own actual lists. It was just say, it just said like dentist appointments and it wasn't getting done. So I felt like writing out the actual tasks would help me but I still see it as a schedule mine, but there's still subtasks to that. I need to get the actual contact info for the dentist I wanna to go to. Anyway, here we are back at where the spoiler alert happened. I made this little sort of origami-ish folder thing off of a YouTube video tutorial, um, and I use it for some things. Um, yeah, I've got my husband's business card back there. I was keeping a nail file in here, but then I used it and lost it, so that was helpful. Um, so it's just if I ever need to keep anything in here. I have mostly been carrying this planner around in like a clutch purse that it fits in. And so other types of things that need to go in here are in that purse with it. So they don't really need to be in here. And there's just not a lot of papers that I'm grabbing or, you know, small papers that need to go in here. But anyway, uh, this is some notes I sort of hastily took on how far ahead I am planned uh, for content stuff because I'm trying to stay ahead of it at least to have to know what I'm making and to know when I need to work on it sometimes I'm motivated tonight I'm really not but you're here anyway I'm here anyway let's do this um, this is my content schedule this is what I try to make is two reels and two photo posts and a, a community tab post and a short and two shorts and a video and it's just it's kind of a lot I feel like I need to pare it down if uh like so my one video a week is well i want to say it's not going anywhere but maybe not tell me what like what do you watch of me between here and instagram like what would you be the most sad if it went away like do you need to see me every single week even if the video is not very much of substance because it turns out people don't actually like playing with me as much as i thought and maybe not having to film them you know wouldn't be that bad of a deal and it would maybe give me more time to do more substantial like tutorial type videos I don't know but I'm afraid it wouldn't and I would just not make as many videos this is secret um these are some notes from a sort of a class thing we're taking these are clothes sizes for the kids I filled it out because I had never actually used it before and I haven't really referenced it too much but I think I really need to um he needs to go up a size and she's really not so much 4T anymore. <laughs> she's really more 5T now. Um, yeah. So then this library book log I was using, but it feels like we're checking out too many library books for me to want to fill this out and like keep on top of it on paper. So I've just gone to using the online account and I'll just log in from my phone and use that as a checklist. Um, so we'll see if, if I miss any deadlines or anything, it, I think we have like ridiculous number of, uh, renewals with the library system we're with right now. It's like 
nine or ten renewals, which is crazy. So I'm probably not going to run up into anything. Um, but so we'll see. This she is in here if I feel like I need it. Um, gift ideas I never filled out. This is for other people, and then uh, there's there's an also an insert that's for wish list for myself. Never moved those over here and haven't missed them, so I probably won't. And this fun little bookmark is for the current project, which, as you guessed, is the birthday party. Um, I don't remember why this is in here. This is just sort of the master thing with uh, notes on everything that's going on. Then delegation is in who's handling what. This is master to-do list of like, this is the weeks that everything needs to get done. And the rest is, it's all happening this week now. Um, but we're doing okay. It's actually not as stressful as I thought it would be. Um, especially since my mother-in-law handles all of the decorations for me. It didn't even have a theme. She came up with a theme. Um, so definitely recommend mother and in mothers-in-law for, um, birthday party themes. And then I'm, every time I think of something that I, oh, don't forget to, you know, bring that, that's going on the two pack list. And then I sort of need to figure out when, like what time in the party, probably around here. I don't know. We need to do like pass the parcel and then cake and then maybe some presents because some people will want some selected presents, like from people who brought them that day. People who mail them in early, maybe they'll just get unwrapped on the birthday itself, which is next Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, but we need to start cleaning up and because everything in the paperwork from reserving it with the city, it makes it sound like a real big deal to actually be done on time, but I don't know. There will be somebody like nearby to enforce it, which just makes me worried. Anyway, um, this is the RSVP list. And I just like to keep track of the current range. So right now it will be anywhere from 47 to 66 people. But I think this number can go down. Whenever we get a no, I'll remove them from this. And whenever we get a yes, I add them to this. And the little squares was around the kids column because I needed to know how many um, goodie bag, favor bags to do. And by the way, I just have it in the bag next to me. I'm kind of proud of it. Instead of doing a goodie bag, I have this little like dance ribbon what do you this like juggling silks or scarves so it's just like a miniature scarf and then it's got just like a, a little snack and a bubbles and play-doh in there oh and a, a little squishy a little squishy toy so i thought that was fun um that's the cutie it's the birthday boy and the last section is just notes and extra papers um when i say notes i mean extra paper pa places to write extra notes these sticky notes are from Peanuts Planner Co. Definitely recommend because this size fits inside a pocket rings planner, um, which the three by three post-its do not. Um, and so these little guys are insert 70, which is like a little mini notes. These are half pocket size and can fit in any planner and you just punch them however you need them. Um, so I use these all the time, all over the place. You've seen them a couple places already. And then I mostly just, let's see, I have some of these I printed wrong. I printed them fit to page instead of 100%. So if you see weird ones, um, just have grid paper, checklists, and I think that's it. Oh yeah, this is another um, Eisenhower matrix, which I don't think I mentioned. It's like, uh, this was not the original drop too. It's a low number, like maybe under 10. Anyway, um, I use this for my that project list back over here. No, here. Uh, and so when I do another brain dump, and I'll probably remake this list at some point, um, it just, I like to get rid of checked off things on my to-do lists because it feels less cluttered that way and it's easier to see what needs to be done if I can get rid of the things that don't need to be done anymore. And we've reached the end. There it is. And see, even the cover keeps popping out. But I do like the DIY of it. Like it was pretty cheap to make. Um, I did go ahead and like buy these discs because I had the big size and it was just too much. I like something much more svelte, um, especially for this smaller size. So that's working for me. These are the like journal size ones. The uh, I don't even know, less than an inch uh, size discs. And there it is. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned if you want more because I post a flip through video every month, new planner content every Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe, have a productive day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.